Hello everybody, welcome back to today's video. Today we're going to be taking a look at how to clean your ITG panel filter. For those who are regular watchers of the channel, you'll remember I did a video, I think it's about two years ago now, where I installed an ITG panel filter. I took out the original paper one that comes with the Mini and I installed the ITG one. Obviously gives better airflow, better, uh, as far as I'm aware, it gives better uh, fuel economy there's other different benefits as well but another added benefit of those is they don't need to be replaced and you can clean them now for purposes of this video i haven't cleaned the filter now for well since i've had it installed so we're looking at about two years now this filter's been running not ideal but but all for the purpose of putting a video together of how to clean the panel filter um at potentially its dirtiest point um, and in that time, I've probably done I've probably done around twenty thousand miles in the car. You know, we've had we've had summers, we've had winters, so the car's picked up dust. We've had those dust storms come over from the Sahara. You know, we've had all sorts of stuff. Um, so the filter is as dirty as it can get without the car being sort of like a rally car or something like that. So I've bought for the purposes of this video, I've bought the ITG panel filter kit. I've bought it from Lowen. Uh, they worked out slightly cheaper than ITG themselves. So I ordered that and it came within a couple of days. So I'm going to show you what you get in the box and then I'll show you how to remove the panel filter and how to clean it. So included in the box, well, this is the box that you get. So this is the cleaning kit for the panel filter, the one that I got. Just go on, if you're ordering it from Lowen, just go on your, you know, select your generation of Mini and click on air filters and this should pop up um so we're just going to open the box in the box you get um a new can of air filter oil uh, once you've cleaned the air filter you'll spray this on the filter and this is the stuff that actually well this is a thing that actually collects or holds the dust uh, so you've got that and you've also got I'll just put the box down there. You've also got a bottle of cleaning fluid, so you'll liberally, liberally spray this all over the air filter. This will, obviously, as far as I'm aware, this will this will allow you to strip the previous oil uh, and clean the filter. And you also get uh, a trigger as well included. So what we're going to do is we're going to open the bonnet. We'll get the old panel filter removed. I'm going to clear the inside of the air box as well, the air filter box, just so... When I've cleaned the air filter, I'm not going to be sucking dirt straight back into it. So it's obviously always a good idea to do that. And then we'll get to cleaning the filter. So you're going to want to take a Torx T25 bit. You've got one screw there, one screw down in here, and one screw there. You can also pull off this retaining rubber clip. I'll pull that off in a sec. The top of the air box will pull out, leaving us access to the panel filter. So what I'll do is I'll put the camera on a tripod and I'll show you what we're doing. Okay, so the screws are actually capped in, so they won't pull out. So what we're going to do, lift up the air box. Our panel filter is here. Very top up, clean on the top, underneath, filthy. So as well, you can't really see, but we're going to get underneath. We're also going to get underneath to clean all of this dirt out, as you can see. Okay, so this is the state of the current filter. As you can see, we've got bugs, little seeds, everything on here. The other side, as we'd expect, is perfectly clean. So what we're going to do is we're going to liberally spray the cleaning solution all over this, uh, making sure we get into all of the, well, basically the, the pile of the, the filter. I've got the grit guard in the bottom of the bucket, and then we're going to soak it in there and then we're gonna massage it in, try and clean it as best we can, and we'll probably do it again after. Okay. Okay, 
So we're putting this onto stream. spray the edges as well. Whilst we're at it, I'm going to spray the top. Okay, so we're going to massage all of this in. I'm going to dip it. I'm going to give it a good massage in the water. Spray it again. And again, I'm going to massage this in. making sure we get everywhere. Okay, we're gonna flush this through now. So I took the air box out and I'm using engine and machine cleaner by Autoglin just to help clean the inside of this. Right and so the air box is all clean, well the lower part anyway, the inside of the top is clean anyway because it's obviously that's a filter side so we're going to get this put back in and uh yeah we'll have a look at the filter okay then i'm going to be using the itg jdr2 cleaner this is a heavy dust oil you've got the jdr1 which is a light dust oil so i'm going to shake this up then we're going to want to on the filter you're going to want to go in like a chris you're going to want to go in straight lines up and down massage it in and then we'll see after to see if we need to go across the other way as well you don't want to go too generous with it to get the folk the oil on the other side because then you potentially suck it up into the mass airflow sensor which you don't want so first of all we're just going to start going in lines just up and down filling in the pores
Okay then, so the filter's all all oiled. Uh, I'm gonna, just gonna let this now just sit for, for a little while, just allow it to soak into all the pores. I did massage it in as well, so it's well in there, but it's not underneath the other side, which is good on the, on the finer foam part. So yeah, we're just gonna let that soak in, then we'll get it put back into the car. Okay, so the panel's all clean, airbox is all clean too, as well. So we're gonna get the panel back in. Okay then, so I've allowed the, allowed the panel to sit. It's not come through the other side. I'm gonna drop this in. Right then, and we're gonna put the top cover back on. Clip that back on. And then just for ease of access, I remove the strut brace. Clip that back on. And there we go. So I'm just going to start the car. Just going to allow it to warm up a little bit. But I think we are all done. Okay, guys, so we're all done. Um, only time will tell if it worked out all right. I'm going to take the car for a quick drive just around the block and then I'll inspect the air filter afterwards just to make sure there's no oil seeping through. Uh, if it does, I could take a, a rag to it just to soak up any excess oil, but I think we'll be all right. Um, but guys, yeah, thank you all for watching. If you like the video, click like. If you wanna see more videos in the future, hit subscribe, follow by the notification bell, we'll be notified whenever I upload a new video. Anyway guys, thank you all for watching, I'll see you all in the next video.